So I picked out some exercises to strengthen this particular muscle group, back, chest, your arms, your abs. So cues that you can look out for. So here you go. All right guys, so another thing about pull-ups is a lot of people do it in a way that targets their arms, even though pull-ups is primarily for your back exercise. So the key is to keep your back arch as you're pulling yourself up. So your elbow always goes to your side, not in front. And your back, you don't wanna keep it rounded because if you're pulling yourself rounded, you end up using a lot of your biceps and forearms. So here's what I'm trying to tell you. So, by the way, when you're grabbing the bar, it's very important that you grab a bar from your hand, right here, not from your finger. So you get a good grip, like so. And then when you're pulling yourself up, and slightly arch as well, because if you can do that, then you're gonna activate all of your muscles in your back, less from your arms. So your arms are like hooks. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> okay, so in this uh, exercise, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the bench press exercise correctly, because this is one of the exercises that causes a lot of injuries in your shoulder, because you're pushing your bar like so, with a rounded shoulder. And that's exactly what you want to avoid. So what you want to do is keep your back muscles squeeze, make your chest the highest point, and then perform the exercise. So you see from here, I raise my chest up. So now chest is the highest point and bring the bar down slowly. And then I push it up. So I'm avoiding this movement of rounding my shoulder at the top. So keep your chest the highest point and keep your upper back muscle squeeze. <laughs> they call it shoulder retraction. So basically, this is what you want. What you don't want is to keep your shoulder like this. And also, the bar should be directly above your nipple, okay? So that's your mid chest. Assuming you have a straight nipple, dumbbell fly correctly so this is one of the most important exercise to really isolate and take triceps and deltoids out of your chest development so so you grab a dumbbell that you can do 12 reps and what you get into the position is to by putting it placing in your upper thigh and then as you lean back you push it up like so and you can cross your leg or put it down whatever you like I like it this way because it gives me more stability. And then from here, same position, chest is the highest point, and you're gonna do, you're gonna lower the weights. This is as far as you wanna go. You don't wanna go past this point. There's no need for that. It can lead to injuries. And then from here, imagine you're hugging a big tree while keeping your chest high, okay? So this is the universal position to do this exercise. And you can make it a bit more advanced by bringing your pinkies together like so. Okay, but you don't need to worry about that right now. Just keep it simple. The main thing is to feel the contraction and don't let it off your chest muscle the whole time. So keep the tension in your chest the whole time. We've got a uh, rope pull right here. And this is one of the exercises you can do if you're short on time. So basically, you're just pulling it like so. Yeah, this is a great exercise. So this is a great way to strengthen your back muscle, all the pulling muscles in your upper body. So that's your biceps, your lats, your rhomboids. So with this exercise, our objective is to, the goal is to really bring it to close to your abs and squeeze. And uh, it's gonna work your lats, the lower lats primarily, and your closer to the grip, the middle of the back. So we're gonna be basically doing it like so. Squeeze. And the higher you bring it to your chest, the more arms is involved. So you want to bring it closer to your abs, not your chest. We're going to do superset. So we start with the tricep and we're going to move on to biceps. You guys got to stop this exercise because this is really annoying. And I don't think there's any benefit to this exercise. Sometimes you could actually give older lady heart attack. So I think you could use your time wisely with other exercises aside from slamming. 
the balls. That's my two cents. Also, uh, if you happen to have one of these ropes at the gym, this is a great addition to your back workout and uh, strengthening your pulling muscles in your upper body. Basically, it's seated uh, rowing or kind of bent over row. It's basically strengthening your back muscles and your arms. So I'll show you how it's done. It's a bit easier because you're giving yourself a little support and it's more inclined. So you lean back like so, and then you're pulling it towards your abdominals, not toward, towards your chest. So pull it towards your abdominals like so. You wanna pull it towards your abdominal muscles. And then from here, you can also transition to your bicep. I wouldn't recommend using this for your chest workout though because it tends to put a lot of stress on your shoulder because of the nature of this movement. Somehow this angle is in a way that makes your elbow go up and that's what causes shoulder impingement. So ideally for your chest, just do push-ups or press-ups or knee push-ups. That's much more effective than this one, but it's a great tool for working your back muscles. That's my opinion.